So it is the event that gets the crowd going every 4th of July. We're talking about Nathan's famous international hot dog eating contest. World champion eaters compete to down as many hot dogs as they can in 10 minutes. I mean, you've seen this, right? Unless you've you know, lived under a rock. And this year, Western Washington is going to be represented all the way across the country at Coney Island. Joining us live is competitor Katie Brenneman from Marysville, who just learned it's a hot sauce uh, fanatic. We just learned that as well as a hot dog eater. So good morning and thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So Katie, start out by telling us, I mean, how does one get into competitive eating? Yeah, so for me, um, I'd always eaten a lot as a child. Um, I loved that show, Man Versus Food. So I'd done some restaurant challenges. And then in 2017, I started watching competitive eaters on YouTube. So I made it my New Year's resolution in 2018 to become a competitive eater. Okay, so what is the training like that like? How, how, how do you train? Yeah, so what, what I do, what I prefer is I eat mass quantities of steamed vegetables, cottage cheese, and chase it with a lot of water to just really stretch out the stomach. So do those hot dogs taste good or are they like your least favorite thing to eat at this point? I still love a hot dog. And I will say that last year's contest, the hot dogs were perfect. I enjoyed every second of it. Really? So we always see that you guys dunk the hot dogs in the water. Explain, <laughs> explain that whole situation there. Yeah, yeah. So the first time I did that, I really had to get over the gross factor. Like, I'll admit, it's disgusting. Um, but there's really no way to, to do well in that contest without dunking the bun. Um, it breaks down the, the carbs and you're able to chase the hot dog with the bun as though it's the liquid. So you're consuming less liquid that way. Whoa. I mean, there's a science to this. So yeah. we were just looking at video of this. This is not your first rodeo in the competitive eating field. How are you feeling about your chances this, this year round? Uh, I'm a little nervous. Um, I, I will confess I didn't train as hard as I would have liked to have this year, um, but I know what I'm capable of. So if I could be my personal best, which was 16 hot dogs and bun in 10 minutes, if I could do 17 this year, I'd be happy. Whoa, 17 hot dogs in 10 minutes. That's a lot. I mean, that's, I, I, I'm no maths, but that's almost one hot dog every 30 seconds. Ish. It's a lot. Ish, ish. Ish. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it doesn't compare to our, our number one female eater, Mickey Sudo, who has the record with 48 and a half. <gasps> Unreal. Okay, so yeah. my question is, so hot dogs are like the thing that we always talk about every 4th of July, but is there one food that you really want to competitively eat that you have not done so far? Oh, gosh. Um, I would love to do like a curry, an Indian curry or mac and cheese. I really? think that would be delicious. Okay, I think I could kill some mac and cheese. That actually sounds really <laughs> good. <laughs> so we were wondering if you could show us how fast you can eat a hot dog. Um, I'm not prepared for that. I don't have a hot dog in front of me. Oh, and we're, okay, sorry. So we're told that you have to have an EMT present. Sorry. Yeah, we just, yeah, we're, not yeah. Allowed to yeah. yeah. we're not allowed to do that. But I mean, we can dream. Yeah. know that. We can dream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I can, I can tell you um, that the fastest I've eaten a hot dog in practice um, is 20 seconds. Okay. That's as fast as we go. And, and this is just for my own weird interest. Like, how do you cook, when you're training, how do you cook your hot dogs? Do you prefer them grilled? Do you microwave them? Are they raw, like, are they just out of the fridge? What, I, I used to grill them, but what they do at Nathan's, it's, you know, a flat top grill. So I actually use a griddle to prepare them now. Okay. So, so do you, is that like your meal of choice now? Is it just, it's so ingrained in you that that's what you eat on a daily basis to prepare? Or do you kind of mix other things in there when you're training? Yeah, so leading up to Nathan's, I try not to um, train with hot dogs more than like every two to three days. Um, so I eat pretty normally in between that. Otherwise, we'd all be obese. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, honestly, we're really excited for you. We can't wait to cheer you on, Katie. Thank you so much, and uh, good luck. I don't know. I know that you're, you, like you say, break a leg to someone who's going on stage. Like, I don't know what you say to a competitive eater. Good. I say, I say bust a gut. Bust a gut. Oh, I love <laughs> that. Bust a Katie Bustagot, Bustagot, we, we are rooting for you here at Fox 13 in Seattle. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, thank you.